Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Workout Wednesday. I'm Paul Goodman, Head Strength and Conditioning Coach for the Chicago Blackhawks. And today we have a little bit different progression than we had in the past few weeks that we've been here. For you guys that are new, it'll be like an all new experience for you. But for all of you that have been here, we're gonna do some additions to what we've done in the past, change some of the uh, difficulty of the exercises, but ultimately give you a nice steady progression that you can feel very successful at. So without further ado, let's get us started. So the first thing we're gonna do is gonna be starting standing and we're just gonna elevate off our heels and walk laterally. Trying to stay as tall as possible, keeping those heels up as high as possible. Good, now let's transition to toes up. Toes up. Keep that tall posture so you don't wanna to start to crouch over just because your toes are up. You wanna make sure that you're tall. Good, now go back to heels up. Heels up, warming up the feet. Warming up our ankles, stabilizing our ankles, strengthening up our calves. Good, then toes up again. Last one. Good, back and forth, staying tall. Good, all right. Now just take one foot, put the ball of your foot in the ground, and then circle around your ankle. Okay, so you're just trying to put a little bit of downward pressure as the leg swoops around. Obviously increasing some range of motion at your toes. Strengthen up the, or lengthening up the plantar fascia. Let's change direction. And then also obviously warming up the ankle. Other way again. Try to get a little pressure, get a little bit fluid. More fluid, I should say. And back the other way. Good. Good, nice. Other side, ready? Circle it to the out. Again, downward pressure. Sweeping it around. Warming up that foot mentioning the plantar fascia that's always important especially if we're bound up in shoes all the time good and other direction and one more time the other direction all right very nice okay next thing we're going to go to our knee hug so again we're trying to bring our knee up to our chest not our chest down to our knee but we are trying to get extension of the back hip okay so let's bring our knee up to our chest, hug, pull, switch, 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 hug, pull, switch. One more each side. Hug, pull, last one, hug, and pull. Good job. Okay, next one, we're gonna put our foot on top of our knee. Okay? Now when we do that, we don't want our knee up here. We want to think about pulling our knee down while we are going into the squat. Okay? If we keep it up here, we're not going to get as much of our rotators of our hip to get into some range of motion there. And we're gonna, we are going to get our glute, but we want to work our rotators as well. So place the foot on top, arms out, pull the knee, and squat. Hold it. Three, two, one. Back up. Switch. Pull and pull. Down and hold. Three, two, one, and switch. Cross, pull, squat. Three, two, one, and switch. Ready, pull, squat. Three, two, one, and switch. Ready, pull, squat. Three, two, one, and switch. Last one, pull it. Squat, three, two, one, and relax. Nicely done, okay. Next thing we're just gonna balance on one leg. Hip circles, going forwards. Big circle of that knee, try to balance and not put that foot down. Try to stay off that foot, so we're working some stabilizers of our glute here. Backwards, other way. Good, big circle, open up that hip. Forwards, good. And backwards, one more time. Good job, keep circling and relax. Good, other side, you need to shake out that leg. Go ahead, ready, here we go. Circle forward and backwards. And forwards. And backwards. 
Good, and relax. Nice job, everybody. Okay, so now we're going to focus on our hips again and also throughout our thoracic spine. So, first part, let's get our fingertips interlocked or one over the other, perfectly fine. So we're gonna take a staggered stance. So I'll show you from the side. Staggered stance. You're gonna bend both knees ultimately, but not like a squat. You're just gonna bend them slightly as you move forward. You can come off the heel of the back foot, totally fine. So the action is gonna happen pretty quick. So you're gonna go forward with the hip, okay? We're gonna try to lean back on each one. And then after we're done with that one, we're gonna sink our hip and try to drive our hip forward. And then we're gonna turn over the front leg rotating about the spine and the trunk. Good, and then after that, we'll drive our hip out to the side of the back leg, all right? So it'll all make sense in a second. I'll lead you through, so don't worry. So, take a staggered stance, not too long, not too short. Hands up at shoulder height, ready, set, here we go. Drive forward, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stay there, up tall. Now rotate over the knee. One, two, three. Keep the arms up. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Back to center, pushing it out to the back knee side. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job. Let's switch it up. Other side. Staggered. Ready? We're starting at the shoulders. And one, two, three, four. Lean back. Five, six. Drive that hip. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Stay tall. Rotate to the front side knee. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Pushing the hip out to the side that's back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job, everybody. Good work on that. Okay, next one. Keep moving along. This one's gonna be an RDL. So we've done this in the past. So we're gonna go reaching towards your toe and then driving the knee up. Trying to get a little bit of a rhythm. It's not a squat though, so we're not squatting down. We're hinging our hip back so that that front leg gets a bit of a hamstring stretch, okay? So, ready, set, here we go. One. Actually, we know what? We're gonna go for time on this. Let's go for time. Ready, here we go. Keep it up. Keep that soft knee. Coming back, drive the knee up. Good job. 10 seconds. Keep going. Hinge back, drive up. Take your time. It's not a race. Good. And relax. Nice job, everybody. So you may find that you have a dominant side and non dominant. I do too. I have a dominant side on my left versus my right. Try to keep getting better on the right every time I do something. All right, ready, set, here we go. Down and up. Good job, everybody. Keep doing it, keep that back flat, keep hinging, driving that opposite knee. Good job, 10 more seconds. Keep going. Five, three, two, one, and stop. Nice job, good. We've warmed up our hamstrings, we're gonna get after them a little bit more here. So we've gone over this 90-90 for you guys that have been here in the past for a split position. So front knee at 90, back knee at 90, sorry. Back knee at 90 in line from shoulder all the way down the knee, all right? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the base of our palm in line with our back knee and in line with the front of our toes. So it'll look like you're getting ready to get up for a sprint, okay? That's the angles that you want and also the positioning. Now take your other hand, place it behind your back, and then I'm just gonna show you and then we'll do it. We're gonna try to extend our back leg. So we're gonna get a hamstring stretch of the front leg, okay? Keeping your palm down. All right, so ready, set, go. Up, down one, up, down two, up, down three, up, down four, 
up, down five, up, down six, up, down seven, up, down eight, up, down nine, up, down ten. Good, let's switch it up real quick. Other side, up, check your angles, 90-90, very good. Base of your palm in line with your knee, in line with the front of your toes. Opposite hand behind your back. Ready? And up. Down one. Up. Down two. Up. Down three. Up. Down four. Up. Down five. Up. Down six. Up. Down seven. Up. Down eight. Up. Down nine. Up. Down ten. Nicely done. Properly warm there. Now let's get down to tripod position. So, you're gonna have quadruped, which is all fours. I know you may not be able to see the bottom, but you're gonna shoot one leg out to the side. All right? Now I'm in tripod, so my left hand is down, my left knee, my right foot, tripod, okay? So we're gonna reach up to the ceiling, turning our hips forward. We're gonna inhale here. So everybody inhale here. And then we're gonna sit back and reach through that space in the ground, okay? That's where you would exhale. So ready, here we go, inhale. Exhale, sit back and reach through. 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 Nice job. Let's switch it up. So other hand comes down, other leg shoots out. Same tripod position. Ready? Shift up. Inhale. Exhale, sit back and reach through. Inhale, exhale, sit back and reach through. Inhale, exhale, sit back and reach through. Inhale, two more, sit back and reach through. Last one, inhale, exhale, sit back and reach through. Nicely done, everybody. All right, we're moving, we're moving and shaking. So next one, Spider-Man position, okay? So you guys are gonna be in a push-up position but well, you're gonna bring one foot up to the outside of that front hand, okay, or the, the, yeah, one of your hands. So your left foot, I have my left foot outside my right left hand. Left foot outside my left hand. Okay, so from there, we're gonna bring our elbow, try to get it as close to your ankle as possible. You can soften up your knee or put your knee down if you like. And then you're gonna come up and rotate to the ceiling. Okay, so everybody, left foot up to the front, you can have your back knee down. I'll show it with my back knee down. Otherwise, it'd be with the top. So we're gonna drop our left elbow, left ankle, and then rotate up to the ceiling. Drop it back down. Reach back up. Drop it back down. Reach back up. Drop it back down. And relax. Now let's get the other leg up. I'll flip around. So, right foot up. Left leg back, I'll stay on the ground again, or you can have your leg up. Right elbow to right ankle, and then reach up. Right elbow, right ankle, and then reach up. Right elbow, right ankle, rotate and reach up. Right elbow, right ankle, and then relax. Okay, let's get to the first leg. I'll go at a kind of an angle here. We're gonna get into a pigeon position. So. You're gonna have your shin across your body, okay? Not with your body, across your body. And you should be on the knee of the back leg, the front of the knee, okay? So we got three spots. We got in front of the shin, we've got over to my knee side, and we've got over to my toe side. So I'm gonna ask you, I know you won't be able to see all of it, but all I'm doing is laying down over my shin side. Then I'll say, walk your hands over to the knee side. Then I'll say, walk your hands over to the toe side and then ultimately back to straight ahead and then back into the pigeon position, okay? So everybody, let's get into the pigeon position first. Shin as best you can perpendicular to your body. If it ends up being tight, a light and angle to your body, no problem, just as long as it's not straight up and down, okay? So you wanna be able to feel it in your glute. All right, so everybody, here we go. Up tall, now walk your hand out over your shin, hold that. Good. Walk over to your knee side. Hold that. Good. Walk over to your toe side. And hold that. 
Good, walk back over your shin. Should be able to get a little further. Good, now walk your hands back and then replace your legs. Switch to the other side. I'll give you a second to get into position. Make sure you're on the top of your knee in the back. Make sure you got a mat also to help you. And then your shin across your body, all right? Let's walk over the shin. Hold it. Good, walk over to your knee side. Hold it. Walk over to your toe side. Hold it. Walk back over shin. And come up and relax. Nice job, everybody. You did the Spider-Mans and, and the Pigeon. So now we're gonna stand up, get ourselves up a little bit, okay? Now we're just gonna do a pendulum leg swing. So opposite arm coming across as the leg swings. So just coming across, the arm coming across helps to counterbalance you, okay? So just let it swing nice and naturally. Wherever it goes, it goes. You're just trying to open up here and come across your body. Let's get two more. Good, now the other side, ready? Arm coming across. Coming across as it swings across. Good. Nice, if you can balance doing that, that's great. If you can, no big deal. Just put your hand on a stanchion, a wall, whatever, just to get that range of motion in your leg. Very good, all right. Good to go now. Let's get started on the big piece of the puzzle here. All right, so we're gonna start off with a little bit of core. So the first time, this is gonna go slower, second time we'll go faster. But I'll try to explain as quickly as possible so we get a lot of reps in. All right, so this one, We've done in the past, leg rotation, side to side. So you guys can go back to that if you want. But this one today is a little bit different. So you're gonna start with legs straight out of the way, bring your knees in towards your, towards your chest, rotate your hips, extend your legs, come back through, knees to chest, extend the other way, knees to chest, okay? So that's going from knees to chest, and then the opposite way is gonna be pressing out Rotating one direction, come back to center, pressing out, rotate to the other direction. All right, for this first round, we're gonna go from the bottom to the knees to chest, okay? So we're gonna go for time. Ready, set, and go. Knees up, rotate, extend, back to middle, knees up, rotate the other way, extend, back to middle. Keep doing that. Trying to make like a figure eight with your body, your lower body. Good. Rotate, pull. Rotate, pull. Rotate, pull. Nice job, everyone. I know you're doing it. Good job. Keep working. Got 10 more seconds. Good job. Ready? Three, two, one, and relax. Nice job, everybody. Awesome, so now we're gonna flip over into a push-up position, okay? So from the push-up position, I'm just gonna say rotate. You just pivot on your feet, bring your arm up, and then I'll say rotate, you rotate and go the other way, okay? So you're gonna keep going on my cadence. So if you need to go from your knees, that's a little bit more challenging because you have to get to your sides of both knees, okay? But it's still good if you have a trouble with being on your toes, it's no big deal. All right, so everybody up and rotate back to center. Good, rotate the other way, back to center. Rotate, back to center. Rotate, back to center. Make sure you don't start to drift away so that you're stacked underneath your shoulder, uh, for your shoulder. Back to center. Rotate, back to center. Rotate, back to center. Rotate, back to center. Last one, rotate, back to center. Rotate, back to center and relax. Nice job, everybody. Good work on that. So now we're gonna be seated on the ground, obviously. And then we're gonna lift our legs and we're gonna do Russian twist, bring the hands, over to the hip, to the other side hip. So we don't need, we don't want this, okay? That's not gonna do us any good. We wanna get away from our body a little bit, and we also 
benefit from rotating our head with it to bring our shoulders. If you're not moving your shoulders, it's really not doing that much, all right? Ready, set, and go. Rotate. Go at your own pace. If you can't keep your feet up, drop your feet down. Continue on. It's fine. I'll join you. Keep rotating. That's it, everybody. That's halfway. Keep rotating. Following with your eyes. That's it, everybody. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Nice job, everybody. Good work. All right, now we're going to the front bridge position, okay? Front bridge position. So we are going to go on our forearms, okay? We're going to be on our forearms, and we're going to go in this front bridge position, which we've gone over in the past. Now, we're going to lift the leg. When I say to you, you're going to lock in your glute, bring it back down, lift the other leg, okay? And then ultimately what we're going to do is swivel our hips, not moving our shoulders, just our hips. So shoulders are square to the floor, all right? So what we're going to do is we're going to go in the front bridge, make sure we're ready. We'll lift each leg three times, then we'll go to the swivels, okay? For 10 seconds. Ready, everybody? Forearms, elbows slightly ahead of shoulders. Ready, and hold the bridge. I'll wait for you. And lift the right, lock in your glute. Down, lift the left, lock in that glute. Try not to raise your hips to do so. Back down, lift the right. Back down, lift the left. Back down, one more, lift the right. Back down, lift the left. Back down, good. Now, swivel the hips, side to side. Good, keeping those shoulders square to the floor. Just rotating the lower half of your trunk. Keep going. Good work, everybody. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Nice job. Good work, everybody. Okay, so now we're gonna go for 30 seconds. So we did a bunch of core work and we're gonna continue with the core work by doing push-ups. And how do you say that? Because part of being good at your push-ups is maintaining a good line. So if I'm on my knees or on my toes, I gotta maintain a good line. If we start doing push-ups like this, obviously not healthy for one, for our backs. And secondly, you're not activating your core. So we wanna be in a good line and you're gonna keep that line while doing push-ups, okay? So your challenge for yourself, as many push-ups as you can do in 30 seconds. And if you wanna start on your toes and then go to your knees, totally fine. Ready, set, and go. Punch them out, find a good rhythm, make sure those elbows are tracking in towards your ribs, not letting them flare out. Keep punching, go at your own pace. You're halfway already. Keep going. Keep going. 10 more seconds. Keep it up. Keep pushing them out. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Oh, nice job. That's good. Good work, everybody. We worked on that post, our anterior. We did our chest. Remember, I was, I like to say, say and I have said in the past, if we do a press, we gotta do a pull. All right, to make sure we're at least balanced somewhat. I'm just gonna move this out a little bit. All right, so on this one now, we're gonna do a snow angel. So hands are gonna be like in a Superman. And we're gonna raise up when I say to, let our arms come down, all the way back up and up, down. Okay, so we raise up, arc down, arc up, everybody comes down. All right, it's a snow angel or on your stomach, snow angle. All right? Make sure when you lift your legs, knees are locked, toes are flexed towards you. Ready? Here we go. Up, down, down again. Up, I'm just gonna say arc, arc overhead, down two. Up, arc down, arc up, down three. Up, arc, down four. Up, arc, down five. Up, Arc, down six, up, arc, down seven, up, arc, down eight, up, 
arc, down nine, up, arc, and down 10. Nice job, everybody. Good work, upper body. Good work on the upper body. All right, so now we're gonna get into lower body. Just checking the time. Doing good, all right. So we got lower body now. So what we're gonna do here, in my stopwatch, is we're gonna do a runner's lunge, all right? So we've done split squats where we've gone up and down. So this one is kind of a split squat and also a little bit looking like an RDL, but it's not an RDL, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna reach back and squat down with hands on either side of our toes and come back and knee drive. Reach, touch, reach, touch, okay? The idea is not to go into an RDL here to touch. We don't want that. We want to squat, reach and squat, reach and squat, okay? Trying to get as long as possible with that back leg. When we're done with the runner's, lunge, runner's squat, we're gonna go into a skater squat right away. So we're gonna come down on one leg and then come back up. Down on one leg and come back up. So going as low as you can go. If you can't do the skater lunge or you don't feel confident, go into a split and do split squats. Up and down, okay? Otherwise, we're gonna take our leg off and try to squat down as low as possible for you, all right? So here we go. Runners, split squat. Ready, big breath. Here we go. Reach back and you go on your own tempo. Go on your own tempo. Good. And we'll get caught at the same time. There we go. Good job, everybody. 10 more seconds. Good. Stay with it. Good. And stop. Gather yourself. Let's go. Squats on a single leg or you're doing split squats. 10 seconds. Keep going. Nice work. Three, two, one, and relax. Good. Shake it out. Nice work, everybody. Nice work. Okay, other side. Other side. Ready, set, and go. Drive the knee. Reach, drive the knee. Good. Keep reaching back. Good job, everyone. Trying to keep the back flat as possible, too. Oops. Good. Five seconds. Good job, everyone. Last one. Good. Let's go to skater. Ready? Or split. Come down, back up. Come down, back up. Good work. Keep going. Three, two, one, and relax. Nice job, everybody. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. All right, moving on. Gonna go single leg, RDL, with a little hop. So, we're gonna reach back, and then drive up and land. Drive up and land. Good, so you're gonna reach back, drive yourself up. All right. Make sure you get a good, long reach. Make sure you feel hamstring before you jump. All right, here we go. Drive up, and that can be a big jump, just a little jump. Good job, everyone. Good. Five seconds. Three, two, one, relax. Good, other side. Other side. Ready, set, and go. This side is much more difficult for me, personally, but I'll try. Keep going. Good, stay with it. Three, whoop, two, one, and relax. Good work, everybody. All right, so now heart rates are probably up, which is good. 
But we're gonna get into a little more cardiovascular output. So take a breath, gather yourself. Good. Now the next one's gonna be Russian March. So we're gonna kick a leg out in front and skip underneath it. So from the side, it looks like that. Little skip, not a big one. Ready, set, and go. 15 seconds. Turn. Good. Good. Keep kicking. Keep that arm swing. Five. Two. One. And stop. Catch your breath. Next one. Starting on one side of the left of that mat. Scissor. Going sideways. All right. Ready. Set. And go. Sideways. Good job. Stay with it. Scissor those legs. Three, two, one, and stop. Catch your breath. Catch your breath. Good. Next one. Forward, backward, diagonal hops. So from here, jumping up diagonally, forward and backward, then back the other way. Ready? Set and go. Good job. Just keep a rhythm. Keep a rhythm. Good job, everybody. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. And relax. Catch your breath. Catch your breath. Next one, 180 turns. So 180 turns is coming all the way around. So I'll start here, turning my hips all the way around. If you want to just do 90s, that's fine. No big deal. Otherwise, try to do 120s or 180s. Ready, set, and go. Big hip turns. Good job, everyone. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Good job, catch your breath. We'll finish it off with high knees, and then you get a big break. Ready, set, and go. Pump those legs, arms, a lot of hits. Let's go, a lot of hits. Keep those legs moving. You got it. Stay with it, stay with it. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Nice job. Catch your breath, get some water. This is the time that you need it. Let's go and get it. All right, 12 minutes. 12 minutes, perfect. Like I said, first round's a little slower, second round's a little faster. All right, so as you're finishing up, let's get back to the ground. So now this one, we're gonna press from the center out and then roll our hips, center out, roll our hips, okay? Everybody ready, set, and go. Straight out, roll one side, straight out, roll the other side. Good. Nice, everybody. Good work. Nice work, got 15 seconds. Keep going. Oh. There we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Nice job. Push up position. Push up position. Going for 30 seconds. I'll call them out for you. We're going for 30 seconds with the open ups, right? From the push up position, we open up to a side. Ready? Everybody, raise it up. And here we go. Rotate. Back to center. Rotate, 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 back to center. Let's get one more. Rotate, back to center. Rotate. Back to center. Nice job. Five seconds of 
bonus work there. All right, good job. Okay, now we're gonna take a seat on the ground, feet off the ground or feet on the ground, Russian twist. Remember to look at your hands and moving your shoulders. Ready, set, and go. Keep rotating, bringing those hands over, not just here, rotate, big rotation. Look at your hands with your eyes to follow. Good job. 15, halfway. Keep going. Good work. 10 seconds. Keep going. Five, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Nice job, everybody. Sorry about that. Thought I saw a different number. All right, next one. Coming down to the front bridge. Front bridge position. Gonna raise the leg, and then we're gonna do the swivels. All right? Raise the leg first. So, everybody in the front. I'll wait. Three, two, one. Let's go. Raise the right. Down. Raise the left. Down. Raise the right. Down. Raise the left. Down. Raise the right. Down. Raise the left. Down. Now swivel side to side. Just the lower part of your trunk. Keeping your hips in line though. Don't let it sag. Just let it drop. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Nice job, everybody, on that. Catch your breath a sec, because we're going to, you said push ups. Exactly. See, you want them. You want them. Everybody wants them. So make sure you're in a good line. Go to knees if you need to as you go through if you get fatigued. All right? Ready, everybody? Get up and let's go. 30. Keep going. Let's get a lot of reps as best we can. You got to go to the knees. No big deal. Go to your knees. Good job. You guys got 15 seconds. Keep going. Keep it up. 10 seconds. Keep punching. Keep grinding. Keep it up. Three, two, one, and relax. Woohoo! Nice work, everybody. Catch your breath. Good work on those. Now we're going to the snow angels. Okay? Snow angels are the ones where we arc over and back. Okay? Catch your breath. It's tough to breathe down there. So I'll give you a second. All right. Good job, everybody, on those pushes. I know it. I felt it. Felt you crushed them. I know it. All right. Let's get down. We're going to start arms overhead. Ready and up. Down. And down. All right. I'll say up, arc, and then down at the top. Up. Arc. Down. Up. Arc. Down. Three. Up. Arc. Down four, up, arc, down five, up, arc, down six, up, arc, down seven, up, arc, down eight, up, arc, down nine, up, arc, down ten, and relax. Good job. Good job. We're done with the lower, or the upper, now to the lower. Now to the lower. All right, going to runner's split or runner's lunge with the skater or split squat. Might join you on the split squats this round. All right, so ready for the runner. To recap, that's the one we're coming down, touching the floor, all right? Or as close to the floor as you can get. Here we go. Good, reach, drive the knee on the top. Good job, everyone. Keep it up. Reaching back, keeping your chest up, with an ankle. Five seconds. Then we go to split or to skater. And stop. Split squats for me. Ready? Here we go. Up and down. Try to get reps. As many reps as you can do. You guys got it. five. Four, three, two, one, 
Relax, good, shake it out. Shake it out. Good job, everybody. Let's go to the other side. Ready? Let right the leg down. And here we go. Good, with the knee drop. Good job, everyone. Keep going. 10 seconds. Keep doing it. Four, three, two, one. Good. Shake it or get into split or skater. Ready? Set and go. 15 seconds. Good job, everyone. Find your rhythms. May take a couple of reps. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Relax. Shake it out. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Good work. Going in the RDLs with the little, or, yeah, RDLs with a little bit of a jump. All right. That's your next one. Give you guys some time to recoup as well as I. Ready? Left leg for me down. Ready? We're going to remember reach and then little jump. Ready, set. Here we go. 20 seconds. Good job, everyone. Keep driving. Good work. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Nice work. Let's get to the other side. After you catch your breath, set and go. 20 seconds. Good work, everyone. Stay patient. I know I have to, too, especially on this leg. Just a little bit less than the other one. Keep going. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and relax. Nice job. Shake it out. Catch your breath. Next one's a Russian march. That's the one where we skip, kick our leg out. Ready? Five seconds. Set, and go. Kick that leg. A little skip underneath. 10 seconds. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Good, catch your breath. Almost there. Keep going now. Scissor, front to back with the legs, going lateral. Ready, set, and go. Scissor, scissor, scissor. Front to back with those legs. Keep moving, fast, good. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Catch your breath, catch your breath. Two feet, diagonal hops. Up and back. Ready, set, and go. Front to back, 15 seconds. Good job. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Good job. Next one, 180 turns. 180 turns, or 120s or 90s. Ready, set, and go. Good, turn those hips as big as you can. Big as you can. Good. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Nice job, you made it. Last one, high knees, high knees. Ready, set, and go. Fast legs, fast legs, let's go. Keep them up, keep churning. 10 seconds, keep going. Come on, big finish. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Catch your breath, check the time. Nice, 44.50, we are good. You guys did a great job. I enjoyed, obviously, 
getting to see each one of you guys excel, virtually or not, I know you guys did. So once again, thank you all for coming to the Workout Wednesday. We love doing it for you. We know that you guys appreciate it as well. Remember, stay safe and go Hawks.